Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the workshop. I recently found these, and if you've never seen one of these before, these are flexible LEDs. So if you see there, they are completely flexible, but they are actually not wires, these are LEDs. So if I take one of them here, and I'm not sure how well this is gonna come through on the camera. If you look at the ends here, one end has a little hole through it, and one end is solid. And so I'm gonna guess that the one with the hole through it is positive, but easy enough to check. So I'm gonna take this here, clip it to the positive end, and I've got the negative end hooked to a nine volt battery here, and you can just kind of see I've got a resistor there, and this should light up. There we go, hopefully you can see that on the screen. That is lit up red. So same thing with the other one, and voila. That one is lit up green, hopefully you can see that. Wouldn't it be cool to make a cable out of these so that, you know, as you strummed your guitar or whatever, um, you know, and the voltage traveled through it, it would light up. But I didn't read the fine print. So when I looked at the actual requirements on these, they take about three volts just to activate the LED. And so your guitar doesn't even produce a volt. So there's no way that that would work. But I think it would work really good for something like a synthesizer cable where you're, control, where you're moving like a control voltage from a sequencer or something. So I've got, I had a couple of these on hand, these little 1 8 inch, which is perfect for, you know, modular synthesizer. So I'm gonna try to wire up a little light up cable. And since I've got a red one and a green one, I thought if I switch the polarities like this and provided I wire it right, it should be bipolar. So if the current is traveling one way, it would light up green and the other way it would light up red. Now I sort of roughed out this diagram here and I'll go ahead and put it on the screen. It's not too crazy to figure out. What I'm thinking here is if I take one jack and I wire both LEDs to the same jack, one with the positive end towards the jack, the other with the negative end towards the jack, and I put the resistor on the other side, that should do it. That should allow it to work. Or at least that's how it works in my head. So, should be pretty straightforward. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so I have this plug soldered, so we see our two LEDs and our ground wire, and they're all soldered, and then now I'm going to wire this up to the other end, and then look at this, this is going to be a mess. So, <laughs> instead what I'm going to try, I have some heat shrink tubing here. I'm gonna try to see if I can just cut a piece of heat shrink tubing here and pass it all through a piece of heat shrink tubing. So let me cut this off. Let's see if it'll go over, it does. So I can take this all the way down to this side and screw it on. All right, one side is done. Okay, so there we go, everything is wired up, so this should be working if I did everything correctly. Let's test it real quick. So I'm gonna clip both negatives to our negatives on the jacks, and if I touch this, we should see light. Hey, look at that! Not sure if you guys can see that, but it's lighting up red. What right, if we go to this end? Still lighting up red. Okay, I was actually expecting it to be green, but then if we reverse this, then it's green, okay. So we get green that way, and we get red this way. Okay, I've moved inside to the modular synthesizer. Here is our cable, and let's go ahead and plug this into an LFO and into this filter, and we should see light. There we go. So you can see the cable is lighting, and I realize this lighting in here in the room isn't the greatest right now, but I did that on purpose so you could definitely see the LEDs lighting up. Now, if I change the rate of this LFO, we should see it respond. Yes. If we go really fast, and we'll get to a point where it'll just basically stay lit, but you can see that. All right, that is awesome. Super fun little project if you wanna make a light up cable. 
that is how you do it. You just need to get a couple of these little LEDs. Now, as you can see, this cable is one foot long because I just bought the one foot LEDs. Now I could find them in longer lengths. They were just harder to find um, and you got less color selections. But I saw them all the way up to three foot, so you could easily make a three foot cable. You could probably find them in longer lengths if you looked around. Maybe you could find 10 foot lengths or whatever to make a 10 foot cable. But for now, this works for me. Cool little idea. Just make yourself a little light up cable with uh, just a couple ends, a resistor, those LEDs, and then a wire. Pretty straightforward. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.